Hi this is Dr. Amit Gupta, this video is about how to use ultrasound probe during USG guided procedures. When discussing ultrasound guided procedure it is useful to describe basic scan planes probe manipulation and needle approaches. Short axis imaging cuts the cylinder transversely revealing a circle. Long axis imaging cut the cylinder longitudinally to create two parallel lines. Here we see an ultrasound probe moving and pivoting along each of its X, Y and Z axis. Sliding is a maneuver that translates the transducer along the course of a structure or a perpendicular to it to scan adjacent structures. Compression is a useful maneuver that has numerous effects. First it moves the active faced or deeper structures to make them appear more superficial. It also helps differentiate between different structures by the related compressibility. Veins are easy to compress, arteries are somewhat compressible and pulsatile, and nerves are fairly incompressible. Rocking allows us to extend the plane of imaging when we are working on a narrow acoustic window. Rotation is used to switch between short axes and long axes. Tilting allows us to scan along the course of structure through a narrow acoustic window. In imaging it is critical to optimize transducer tilt to properly visualize veins, nerve and arteries. With the out-of-plane needle approach the needle starts in front of the plane of imaging and advances until it crosses the plane of imaging as an echogenic dot. With the in-plane needle approach the needle is visualized on its long axis as it advances within the scan plane. Let's move on to show some common challenges with visualizing the needles. Needles reflect sound back to the receiver over a narrow angle. As the angle between the transducer and needle increases less sound is reflected back to the receiver and the signal becomes weaker. We can also see that this is it true for song reflected off the sides of the needle shaft. With the short axis out of plan approach the needle will be seen best when the tip is within the plane of imaging. Shaft gives weaker signal than needle tip. Generally tissue displacement is transmitted far enough along tissue planes for the operator to get a sense for the trajectory of the needle. Often slight tilting of the probe can be used to locate and follow the advancing needle tip. If the needle crosses the plan of imaging but does not completely lie within it only a portion of the needle will be seen this can give a false impression of needle depth that can lead to complications. Alignment issues can often to be addressed by leaving the needle stationary and the manipulating the transducer until the tip of the needle is imaged. The needle bevel has a characteristic stair-step appearance. Thank you very much. And subscribe my YouTube channel below to watch educational videos.